Hey guys, it's Mark from Modern Tech and today I'm going to show you how to play GameCube games on an Xbox One Series S without using the dev kit. You have already got the GameCube emulator running but you're getting a black screen when you're trying to load a game. Stick around because this video will help you out. Now before we start, you need to have a Windows computer or laptop in your house. I'm not sure if it works on Apple or Linux, that's something you might have to find out yourself. You will also need a USB drive or a USB external hard drive, SSD or whatever, just anything you can put your games on. So ideally it needs to be over 4 gig really because most GameCube games are around about 2 gig. So you need to have that memory. The first thing you're going to want to do is go on your Xbox and click on Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is just a standard web browser that comes free on the Xbox. And when you get there, type in the address bar these two links. These links can be found in the Discord below. It is not my Discord, it is the Xbox Emulation Community Discord. Alternatively, you can just copy these links off my screen. However, I do recommend going into the Discord because there is a good community in there that will help you out when needed. Once each link is typed in, it will take you to the App Store. Just click open, yes, and install each file. One will be a server file and one will be the Dolphin emulator. Now you want to navigate to your files and they will be in your games section. So you want to open up Durango FTP and this will be how you are going to transfer some data from your computer to the Xbox. Once you get onto Durango FTP, the one thing you're going to want to know is the IP address which will be under your Xbox local right here. I've covered mine up for security reasons. After you've made a note of that number, all you'll need to do then is click start in the left hand side. Now when you go back to computer, you want to go download something called FileZilla. This is the free version, you might already have this installed if you do. Well done. I'm going to click the top one, that's FileZilla's official site, and I am going to download FileZilla Client. This allows me to transfer data from basically my PC to the Xbox. Download, because I'm on Windows, yep. And I just want the standard free version, so I'm going to click download. There it is. Open it up, naturally just install it like you're going to install anything. AVG secure browser, you're going to click decline, you don't want any of this extra stuff, you just, a lot of downloads trying to shove all this stuff in because people just normally click next, 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 just get rid of all that, you don't want it, um, anyone who can use this computer, uh, yeah that's fine, file extensions, that's fine, it's all fine, yeah it's just as simple as that, it's a simple install, there you go, finish launch now once filezilla is open all you want to do is go to the top left corner where it says host and you want to type in your so i'll make this bigger you want to type in your ip address i'm going to cover mine up for obviously for video purposes but it is the number on the xbox once you've typed in your ip address all you want to do then is click quick connect so once everything's connected, all you got to do is try and find, I can't even tell you what the numbers are because it's different from the tutorial that I watched. Um, but what you had to do, what I had to do is I had to go through each, pretty much one of these. I know it's not that one because that's Amazon video, but I'll show you as an example. I clicked on the plus sign and then I looked down the local state and I click on that. Um, and then that there's nothing in the local state. Whereas this one up here, if I click on local state, I find, there you go, this is clearly the one we are looking for. Now before you boot up a game you want to hold off for a second because I'm going to show you what happened when I tried to do this. No other tutorials have mentioned this from what I'd seen but I will show you the fix straight after. Once your USB device is plugged in naturally you want to make it a media device. This should pop up straight away if it's the first time plugging this device in. Then I opened up the Dolphin emulator in my game section and every time I clicked on a game which was on my storage device I was greeted with a black screen and it got no further. At this point, I must have spent about half an hour doing a few different trial and errors on how to actually get past this black screen. And here is the solution which actually works. I couldn't find it in any tutorials or anything like that. I had to dig through discords and I found this in a forum. So here you go. I'm going to try a different USB. Uh, I've got a random USB here and I am going to format it to NTFS. And then I'm going to try a shiver game on that and see how that works. So I'm going to drag over Super Smash Bros. Melee. 
right so i've got my new usb formatted but apparently there is additional steps i have to do which was very hard to find in any other tutorial so i'm hopefully going to put it here so you right click on the usb click on properties and then we're going to look for the security tab then we're going to go to advanced and then apparently we're going to go to add and then we're going to go to select a printable and then once we are on this we're going to click advanced again and then we are going to click find now i'm going to go down and look for all applications or packages right at the top there actually and then apparently we're going to click ok i'm going to click okay and hope for the best let's have a look we want to click full control as well and uh, yes i'm going to try and click apply and yes here's an error which apparently is what i should be getting an error occurred when applying some information failed and um, continue apparently that is normal so let's go and bloody try it <laughs> So when I freshly formatted USB with full access control, I've simply plugged it into the Xbox and booted up the Dolphin emulator. Go straight down to the USB, find the game and just press A to load it. Now that we've got the config files and everything installed, you should be able to play your game perfectly fine with a control pad. This USB I used is super slow so it took around about 90 seconds to actually compile all the shaders but once the game came on, it ran flawlessly. Now that you have GameCube games running on your Xbox, which game are you going to play first? If you like this video, if it helped you in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe as a small creator. It really does help my channel and I'm really, really trying to push YouTube this year. So thanks for watching. It's Mark from Modern Tech. Goodbye.